We will be using fossil fuels for the next few decades. Coal, petroleum, and natural gas are fossil fuels. We are generating energy by burning fossil fuels, but in addition to generating energy, burning fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide to the environment. Residential and commercial locations, industry, transportation, and power plants are major carbon dioxide emission sources. Annually generated carbon dioxide in the U.S. is enough to fill the Grand Canyon. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, and excess carbon dioxide directly results in increasing the Earth's temperature. The greenhouse effect results in melting polar ice and depletion of the ozone layer. Excess carbon dioxide in the atmosphere can cause extreme weather, spread of diseases, acid rain, and effects on agriculture. Converting CO2 into viable chemicals and fuels using solar energy is our solution to various excesses of carbon dioxide. In the near future, we will run out of fossil fuels. Our nanoheater solution will help save some fossil fuel reserves. Zinc oxide is a good catalyst for carbon dioxide conversion at higher temperatures. Therefore, we have to increase the temperature of zinc oxide. We are introducing nanoheaters to increase the temperature of zinc oxide. Nanoheaters are tiny particles that can't be seen with the naked eye. Gold nanoparticles are our nanoheaters. Surface electrons of the gold nanoparticles dance together at one frequency. We call that frequency the surface plasmon resonance frequency of the gold nanoparticles. Dancing frequency of our nanoheaters is the same as the frequency of green light. Therefore, our nanoheaters can absorb only green light. After the green light absorption, gold nanoparticles generate highly localized heat in the vicinity of a few nanometers. As a result, our catalyst is zinc oxide with nanoheaters. Inside the laboratory, we synthesize gold zinc oxide photocatalysts using a small number of chemicals and a simple method. We tested carbon dioxide conversion inside the laboratory using a green laser and we detected methane as a product. When we increase the laser intensity, the local temperature of zinc oxide will be increased. Increasing the local temperature of zinc oxide also causes the carbon dioxide conversion rate to increase. This is the successful story of our nanoheaters.